Ugh. I've been a bad boy. You know, I wandered into my local coin shop recently and I knew I probably shouldn't have done that because a lot of folks right now are dumping silver and gold like crazy, at least according to my coin shop folks. And I figured, well, what the heck, I'll go just see what they have. And I should have known better because anything that is shiny and is kind of yellow, metal, silver in color, metal, I just can't resist it. So here it is. This is my latest uh, set of purchases from my LCS. I'll start here with this. Uh, I think this is from 2018 or 2019 maybe, but it's a two ounce Canadian silver maple flex bar. This is one of those bars that you can separate and they have these little scores in here where you can bend the bar and break it off and use it in individual pieces. Not that I intend or plan to do that, but this was pretty cool comes in different sizes and weights. I uh, really liked these. It's two ounces in each one. I picked up five of them. So 10 ounces of silver there. Like those a lot. These were interesting. I got picked up four of these rounds. Uh, there's really no reason other than the fact they were there. I could have picked up four other rounds if I wanted to, but these look like there's some sort of a corporate challenge round. Uh, Darling Ingredients, I, I looked up the Darling Company, and in fact, they are a, a type of uh, you know food industry uh, corporation, and they must have made these and given them out to their employees for something. Uh, pretty cool, just thought I'd have them because they're unique, and I bet nobody else has a Darling Ingredients silver round. Then I picked up a Dos Pesos. Uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for dirty gold. And when I say dirty gold, I mean that gold that's been mixed with some copper. And I think this qualifies, obviously, a different sheen on this than the Australian 49's fine gold there. But I, I, I like the dos pesos. I like uh, 1933 stuff, the pre-33 stuff. Uh, I like it all. I'm just, you know, it's shiny and it's gold. And so, you know, there I am. Picked up a couple of these five gram bars from the Perth Mint. These are really beautiful. And I like the craftsmanship and the workmanship on these. Real nice bars. Five grams, I think, yeah. Total gold content, 0.161 troy ounce. Got a couple of those. And then I picked up five of these uh, War in the Pacific coins. These are an Australian coin, a $15 denomination. Pretty neat and real pretty. I like the the uh, bird on the back, I guess an eagle, and just real shiny. Four nines fine gold. I can never complain about gold, even though at these prices, I probably shouldn't be buying now. I'm sure some of you will disagree with me. Uh, just like on silver, I think there's a lot of folks that are, hey, if it's below $20 an ounce, that's a bargain. I don't see it that way. I'm more of a $15 an ounce kind of guy when it comes to silver and more of a twelve dollars to $1,300 an ounce kind of guy when it comes to gold. If it's lower than either of those two numbers, great. I'll be buying all day long, but I, I just, I couldn't help myself. I, I saw the shiny and I had to go all in. Not only that, but check this out. Five ounces of silver. The Idaho River of No Return Wilderness. Love this. Uh, I'm a Idaho resident and I collect and stack all things silver and Idaho. Five ounces. That's kind of blurry, but it's three nines fine. Uh, River No Return. They have this in the quarter as well. And I think you folks have been seeing some of these in your coin roll hunts. Uh, not the silver version, of course, but the uh, the clad quarters that are coming out. But anyway, these are my latest purchases at my LCS. Really enjoy stacking. And obviously, I have a problem, <laughs> as it's manifested here on my desk when I said I wasn't going to be buying at 
1500 plus an ounce or at 17 plus an ounce for silver. But here it is. I couldn't help myself. It's going into the stack. Appreciate you folks. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll be in touch soon. I'm looking forward to seeing the love uh, and respect box that my friend Mr. Popzilla put out. See that thing come boomeranging back, and we'll have a giveaway. Anyway, talk to you folks soon. Until next time, Vertical Stacker.